Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over the best players in each position in Madden 21, guys. Now, as you guys do know, I want to make this video now before golden tickets do come out near the end of the month, guys. This will be the final time that most of these players will be the best players in each position, right? Because golden tickets will be coming. And every position that a player has a golden ticket at will more than likely take over as the best player in his position. Now, there are certain instances where we get like a Keith Bullock where he won't be the best outside linebacker, but whatever quarterbacks we get will make up the best quarterbacks and for wide receivers we get, whatever safeties, more than likely cornerbacks will end up being the best ones for ability purposes, archetype purposes, and just stats. And of course, they're boosted stats. So it's pretty much, when you get a 99 overall golden ticket, you're getting a 99 overall card with like three stats that are also super boosted. So they're kind of like an 100 overall in that sense. Although we aren't doing 100 overall, I hope we end up doing it, but they have not said anything in regards to that. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what's going on, guys. Let me know how it's been. Let me know if you pulled the golden ticket. That's definitely interesting to see. And of course, if you need coins, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Now, let's head over to the auction house, guys. Let's start at quarterback now. You guys know the rules with this. Hopefully, at least, you guys will see and more or less know how we do this as we get into it. If not, so starting off a quarterback, right? The thing with quarterback this year is, like, it seems like we get one really good one and we just rock with him for a while. And a lot of the new ones people kind of just fray away from. Now, quick note, Baker's not the best one, but Baker is a lot better now that he does get his power up, guys. So just stay, you know, just look at that. With Baker having a power being able to do all that, he is a lot better. So if you guys are Browns fans or anything, not a horrible uh, quarterback option. But for the most part, guys, it seems like we're rocking with still the same guy. So we've, all, we've, all, we've had all these quarterbacks. It seems like Brett Favre is still the guy to rock with. And he's really not that expensive, as you guys can see. You can get him for, like, the low 300K range. If you're lucky, it'd be high 280-ish, 290. Brett Favre's still the best guy, guys. He's a strong arm quarterback. Powder from Kemp up. He gets all the accuracy thresholds above 95. He'll get 99 throw short, 99 throw medium, 99 throw power. He'll get up to, like, 84, 85 speed. He'll get up to, like, 99 throw under pressure, uh, high throw on the run, high 90 throw on the play action. He also, behind the scenes, you know, get a decent, you know, throw under pressure, break sack, you know, a few things like that. But overall, guys, you're going to get all the abilities you want. Strong arm quarterback. And he has a super fast release. And then, of course, you throw Gunslinger on him. Now, yes, the Golden Tick quarterbacks will probably end up overtaking him. But that is why we're doing this now. When we get Golden Tickets, we will update the video, of course, in a few weeks. Halfback. We've gotten a lot of halfbacks. Like, we've definitely been getting a ton of halfbacks. Now, it depends what system you're playing on, guys. If you're playing on current gen, Alvin Kamara is really, really, really good. Alvin Kamara gets 99 speed. He'll get 98 to 99 excel. He'll get 99 agility. He'll get above 90 catching. He'll get just about 99 change of direction. Above 90 trucking. He'll get 99 break tackle. He'll also have 81 strength. he also have 99 agility. And of course, he's going to have a 99 juke. High 99, potentially 95 to 99 spin. He'll have, if you put the right stuff on him, which I recommend you put like um, play fake on him, he will get 90 medium route running. As well as, you know, high, pretty high catch in traffic. He'll have high 90 short running, guys. This card is super, super, super solid. He's going to be able to do just about everything. He's playing current gen, I mean, even next gen. I think Alvin Kamara is probably the best back in the game. But if you're playing on next gen, you could always go for, like, you know, more of a Michael Turner-esque build, which is going to be, like, you know, the 240 pounds, 244, 99 speed, 99 truck, 99 break tackle for that power. But it really just depends, guys. I personally like Alvin Kamara, although there's some other good options here. You know, Dre Archer is definitely a little bit cheaper version of a... Uh, Kamara, but he doesn't exactly have the receiving that Kamara has because Kamara is a ridiculous receiver. We don't do fullback guys now. Wide receiver, we got a bunch of wide receivers as well. Now we're about to get a onslaught of like some crazy, crazy good um, wide receivers, right? But for the time being, guys, what we're rocking with Julio Jones is probably probably the best wide receiver right now. Uh, he's a route runner archetype, which is perfect. 99 chemmed up, powered up. He will have 99 short. He'll have 97 medium, and you can oh so. You can either go 99 short, 99 medium, 90, 94 deep, or you can go 99 short, 97 medium, 99 deep, which probably sounds a little bit better, but he won't get the 99 medium route running threshold. He's enough close to 99 catching, 99 jumping. 99 jumping, guys, with 99 speed with 6 foot 3 frame is a is just a crazy catching threat right there. 82 strength is great in a wide receiver, as well as he gets above, he gets a 95 carry, 95 stiff arm, 93 juke plus. He can get up 94 break tackle plus. Card's a goon. Card's gonna be great all around. And of course, guys, for the rest of the receivers, you could just fill out with the guys you want. So, like some speedy guys, like I said, like. So, David Boston's really expensive, right? But he's a physical archetype, which doesn't really make sense. I don't know why he's there. Uh, you know, the whole the whole thing there doesn't really make sense. 
But the guys I personally like are Julio. Let's see, uh, where was it? I like Braylon Edwards, the Hayward Bay. You can just rock out with those guys. Power them up and chem them up, guys. You're going to get close to that in all of them. Now, again, then you can just wait for golden ticket wide receivers and then go ahead and pick there. I really hope there's a golden ticket tight end because I really feel like we need that, you know, that banger, crazy, crazy tight end. So at the time, guys, like, so Antonio Gates only gets 90 speed, right? Now, same thing with Shockey and same thing with a few other guys. I don't know why they're dropping tight ends like this, um, you know. There's really not that crazy, crazy tight end right now in terms of speed. So you could probably still rock with Vernon Davis or Darren Waller if you guys wanted to. If you really want to get the upgrade, you can go to Jeremy Shockey or Antonio Gates. And of course, you'd get the crazy catching, the run blocking, and 92 speed. So I would say right now, Shockey, Shockey, Vernon Davis, Darren Waller is kind of like the threshold of the good tight ends right now. But I don't think one really stands out much more than the others. I would personally recommend, guys, you wait. I think we're going to get a golden ticket tight end. Now, left tackle, left guard, center, right guard, right tackle. We never do those guys. Linemen are simple. You run heavy, you get run blocking linemen. You pass heavy, you get pass blocking linemen. You get a lot of coins, you get the guys that can do both, and you can play however you want. Left end. Now, this is saturated by Ryan Kerrigan's here, but Javon Curse is still still really good, guys. You're going to be getting a super speedy end who can get up to 95, 96 speed. That end while also having 99 finesse move. Having a mid-90 block shed. Going to have like 97, 98 excel, which is crazy. Going to have 99 play rec. Going to have 95 tackle. Has good strength. Can get 80 change of direction, 91 impact blocking, and of course, you'll get 95 hit power. Cards great all around. Of course, we're probably getting some upgrades there still with the guy that can get that speed and block shit, but that's coming in the near future. Next guy's at right end, Kyle Vanderbosch. So he's the only guy in this range right now. Now, if you look at Kyle Vanderbosch, he's not horrible, right? He gets power move, block shit, play wreck, but he's not exactly super speed, you know what I mean? Like, he's decent. I personally wouldn't really recommend him. You come down to the 96, which is why, if I were you guys, I would just wait for the, the next drop of right ends. Uh, personally, just to save coins, you know, instead of just upgrading to one guy that you really don't want. But, guys, of course, you do have the Chase Lutt Youngs. You do have Aaron Donalds. You do have Brian Burns. There's a lot of good options here. Now, for the time being, guys, uh, with power-up power wise, Chase Young does not get one, which kind of sucks. Now, Aaron Donald is going to be similar to Kyle Vanderbosch in terms of speed and everything, but he does get block shit, power move, finesse move, everything else. I personally just wouldn't touch this position right now, or I would toss a, an outside linebacker here. You can go Aaron Donald, you can go Chase Young, but they're kind of getting played out at this point. Uh, we're about to get really, really good ones. So if you want, you can get Vanderbosch, just rock with him just as a guy to fill it. I would personally probably wait. Brian Burns is really good as well, but of course, he does not get a power by there, which kind of sucks. Oh, defensive tackle, guys. No one really runs defensive tackle. So as you guys know, we typically don't have much to say in this spot. Uh, people don't like defensive tackles this year. If you guys want a defensive tackle, guys, typically just take the best one. Uh, you know, he'll, he'll do a little bit of everything, but of course, look at the speed because that's one of the bigger factors in defensive tackles this year. Oh, usually. So you have all these guys here. There's there's plenty of good guys. There's Michael Perry Dean. There's John Randall. Michael Dean Perry, sorry. There's DeMarco Farr. And there's Marcus Stroud. Now, guys, honestly, if I were you, if you really wanted it just for overalls, maybe you take the cheapest one, which is going to be him. He has a finesse move, the block shed. He'll get 99 block shed, finesse move, while having like an 86, 87 speed, which is really good. Now, if you guys just want it to feel like it, like I know people just want their overall to go up, you go with that. You can also go Michael Dean Perry, which is going to be a little bit slower. Not as great, in my opinion, as um, as John Randall in terms of athleticism. Then you got the Marco Far. Like I said, defensive tackle really just isn't used anymore. They're all they're all pretty good options. I would just go with the cheapest one. Toss them in there if you're not really going to use them. You just want it for overall purposes. Left outside linebacker. Some simple choices in these spots, guys. So, Ricky Jackson is quite literally the GOAT right now. Uh, he's really good, but of course, we got your Davion Clowney now, so he's going to be overshadowing Ricky Jackson at this point. So, Ricky Jackson is really great, but you cannot go wrong with your Davion Clowney. Your Davion Clowney will get 99 block shed, finesse move, power move, potentially play rec. He can get up to like 95, 96 speed. He's crazy, guys. And he's 6'5", 255, which on next gen, you know, is going to help a little bit. Crazy good excel. Crazy good strength, guys. And then behind the card stats, you know, some stuff will be boosted as well. He's got 83 change of direction, 99 impact blocking. He's got 98 hit power. Gets an 81 zone coverage, guys, which means, like, for any reason, you got to pop him out into a quick, like, your, your man pressing, you want to pop him out into a flat for the guy doing a drag. JV on going to lock it up, right? This card's crazy. Super good, guys. Can't go wrong with him. And then, of course, you have Ricky Jackson for a cheaper option. Middle linebacker, another position that's really just not being used this year, guys. If you're going to be using middle linebacker, you got Shazier, right? Shazier, though, gets a 95 speed, so he's going to get done what you need to get done. Again, I don't really recommend middle linebackers this year. No one does, but he will get 99 zone, above 90 hit power. He will get 98 speed, 99 speed, as well as having above 90 block shed, 98 excel. His card's crazy all around, right? Like, if, this was last, if this was like a year ago or two years ago, 
we were looking at this card one of the best cards in the game on defense but of course it is not hopefully no one makes any middle linebacker golden ticket set you know people still think about the usual linebacker it's all about safeties now rest linebacker guys no one really likes any of these cards so Derek brooks people really don't like daryl tally the only good thing about him is he has decent speed power moving block i mean sorry block shed but the issue with this guy he can't pass rush so the 98 guys are pretty much just like a wash right now i wouldn't recommend any of them another position guys where i would just wait for you know like a lawrence taylor upgrade or any of those guys which are coming soon so i really wouldn't recommend you spend any money here if you have to get a guy bradley chubb is super solid or lawrence taylor but bradley chubb's a bit newer bradley chubb you'll be able to secure a guy with like a 94 95 speed while getting 99 uh, finesse movement potentially block shed like i said bradley chubb's really good but i'd probably wait for the lawrence taylor upgrade which we know is coming pretty soon as well as guys like Derek thomas and a few others that we all know like those are guys that could get golden tickets i would just wait for them i wouldn't waste your money then a cornerback cornerback we're gonna get some crazy golden ticket cornerbacks probably but for the time being we got some new guys now one guy that there's some guys that are low-key underrated on this list now if we go to the top here right dunter robinson all these guys are pretty good uh darius slay is still one of the best cornerbacks in the game he still can he gets 99 speed 99 zone 99 man 99 press 99 play rec he's six feet tall he gets 83 catching and 87 hip power you can't go wrong with him darius slay one of the best quarterbacks and the rest like i think honestly guys brian pool's a pretty good option too besides his height um he gets 99 zone 99 man 99 press 99 play rec 99 speed and he gets a 87 hit power as well i think brian pool's a pretty good slot guy as well um but again you don't have it just has a cheaper option but for the most part guys you're getting slay and you can wrap him up with you or revis anton winfield any of these guys here again another thing i would do is not max cornerbacks out yet wait to secure one of the golden tickets there because we're gonna have a great cornerback for uh golden ticket probably free safety as well i don't really like free safeties right now i don't think i don't think all of them are that good uh mike minter's decent you know but he, he's not he only gets up to i believe a 97 speed but he does get the hit power and the zone and the man and everything but I would wait. We're going we're gonna to get some crazy safeties. Again. I'm telling you, we're going to get... It's a year of safeties. We're going to get some crazy safeties and golden tickets. That would be like 99 speed, 99 hit power. Uh, you know, 6 foot 3, big height. So just expect that, guys. If you want to go like a more of a budget option, just go, take a guy with some speed. You can use like a Kendall Fuller has some speed. You know, when he was free from the promo. Personally, guys, like I said, free safety. Like I wouldn't even recommend wasting coins at that position right now. Just wait. And then strong safety. Another position where, yes, there's some good guys there right now. But you're going to get some crazy great golden tickets at strong safety as well. Eric Berry is pretty. Uh, Eric Berry is a fiend. So we got Troy Palomalo right now. The issue here is that he's a bit smaller, but he's great. He's gonna get 99 zone. He has great hit power. He gets 99 speed. Troy Palomalo is a great option as well as uh, Eric Berry too, which you can go ahead and play the solos, get him a bit cheaper if you wanted to. So I'd recommend Eric Berry or Troy Palomalo because Eric Berry will get 99 speed as well, 99 zone, 99 man. He's a bit taller than Troy, but Troy might be more fun to play with. But guys, better for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. If you guys need coins, head over to my coin bank down below and use code pool at checkout for 5% off your order. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.